Brandon Razzle. I'll be performing the part of Alex, and I've been a guard player for two years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, my name's Luke. I'll be performing the part of John, and I've been a guard player for eight years. I'm Alexa. I'm playing Tempe, and I've been in guard players for six years. My name is Maisie, I'm playing Paula, and I've been in Garden Players for three years. I helped write this play, um, including my part, the rising star scene, and many other characters. Hello, I am Benny. I am going to be playing Morgan in this production, and I have been a Garden Player for three years. I have, uh, hold your applause. I have also <laughs> helped write this musical, and I wrote the cohesive first draft, edited, and wrote a lot. A lot. Hello everyone, I am James. I am playing the part of Mike, and I've been a garden player for eight years. Sadly, this is my last play ever for garden players. Now, before we start, there's a couple of very important things we'd like to tell you. Oh no, why am I still holding this trumpet? Hey, can someone out here hold this for me? Come on, raise your hands! You in the black? Black, in the black? Ooh, yes, yes, come on! Hey! Thank you, and remember, please do not eat this show You have the most important role in the entire show. As I was saying, uh, sorry. Make sure you have a parking pass in your car. No one wants to be booted. If you don't have one in your car, you can get one from the ushers in the back of the room. Um, also, <clears throat> if you have a cell phone, let's imagine you're on a mountaintop with no service. Switch, Switch it off. <laughs> uh, please no flash photography or videotaping. We have a professional videographer, and if you take flash photos, the flash ruins their footage. Everyone wants a clear view of the stage, so if you must take a short video, please remove yourself to the side or the back of the theater. Yeah, we have wonderful photographers and video takers documenting the show, so they're like, you guys can sit back and relax. We got that. And now, welcome our artistic director, Bettina Hershey. <laughs> Well, what a treat to have you here for our closing night of Creature Mountain and the Slime Corporation. Sadly, Toby, who plays our uh, lead, our main uh, park ranger, Parley, is sick, so he is going to be covered by. Um, Hypatia and his understudy Chloe, and uh, they're gonna work their magic on stage. I gotta say, um, I just love this whole experience, and it was such a treat to see them up here bringing the show to life last night. I can't wait to see it today. We have such an incredible band up here, Nick Russo on guitar. <laughs> And um, and Melinda also helped write some of the songs. This was a true collaboration between the students. Um, the whole reason I decided to do this playwriting class every year, I write an original musical, and uh, my kids. Uh, would, are sometimes in garden players, but they didn't want to be in it, and I asked my daughter, would you write the musical with me? And she said, yes. So I was like, okay, let's get a bunch of kids together. And so now we have a playwriting class, and we wrote, we met every Wednesday. Actually, my daughter's up there on the spotlight. Thanks for helping out. And she, she can't even logo. Go. She's headed to art design next year, and my son's sitting up there too. He's going to look where I'll be next year, but uh, we are, we, we do this as a, every week, meeting for class, and I ask the kids, what 
are you worried about? What are you thinking about? What do you want the audience to learn? And what do you think is fun? Fun to play, fun to create. So, and this is what we ended up doing together. Um, and it's just stunning, I think. So I love to see their work and to help them bring this together. Every year I write an original musical since 2004. This is my 20th year doing this. I turned down a national to a Broadway tour and I said I'm gonna stay here and I'm gonna write this musical every year. And I said I'm gonna try it in five years. I loved it so much. 20 years later, I'm here. And so you should try to make it to the, um, our celebration concert, January 23rd, because um, my collaborator, Denver Casado, who was here. I think it's June. Did I say January? Okay, no, uh, yeah. June 23rd, coming right up. There's the alumni concert. Like We're going to celebrate shows through the year. And all of our current guard players are invited to perform with us as well. So we look forward to that. We have our band, the Scooches, performing at Flushing Town Hall, June 1st. And all of our garden players are invited to sing with us at Flag Day and at the Memorial Day Parade to, to walk down and sing the garden player song with us. So we hope to see you at all these events coming up. Most importantly, we have to really say thank you to all of the people who made this show possible. All of the businesses in your playbill have been uh, helping make this show possible. And we have our gold star sponsors right there. Terrace Realty, Gigi Malik's Realty, Dee's Pizza, Kids Only Dental, Ar Arbitman Orthodontics, and Fox Funeral Home. So thank you to, for making it really possible to put on this show. Plus, we are here at the Church in the Gardens and the Community House, and this is our theater home. So we have deep thanks for everybody who allows this to be our theater home. But can we have the house lights, please? I know it's tricky back there. Uh, I need everybody who helped out stand up, and if you helped out with sets, costumes, props, ushering, anything at all, the table. If you've ever volunteered in a different year, stand up, you know, huge applause. Thank you for making it possible. And you can bring that house lights down. Every single thing up on the stage that you see has been created by our community of parents and helpers. And so thank you. Uh, really important. I did the directing and the choreographing, but not alone. Um, Lorenza and Stefania were by my side all year long. So at the end, when they come out, we're gonna give them a big. We can give them a big round of applause now. Both you. Imagine you're out in nature and we'll go to creature
Nice. 
before you go out and have a half, like the best hiking place hike ever, you must learn the rules of the mountain. They're quite simple. One, be safe. Two, stick to the trail. Three, whatever trash you pack in, you must pack out. We saw some trash in the forest on our way in. Pick it up, even if it isn't yours. Stuff like that can seriously hurt the ecosystem. Why do we pick up our trash if it's just dissolved or something? Do you think all trash compost? That's right. Even compost that you bring into the park must go out. Here are some more books about the local animals, faunas, and trails. A oh, quick question. Do you have any like trampoline park to bungee jumping? Or like a petting zoo? This is not an amusement park! This is the great outdoors! Oh, just great. And do not go to the west side of Creature Mountain. It is not open for hikers this season. Happy hiking! Do they know? Do they know? Oh look, there's more trash. Pick that up. Do you know? 
know about these strange creature sightings? Oh, I don't advise of it. They could have long claws, sharp teeth, glowing eyes. Yes, they're very scary. Morgan, again, if my calculations are correct, a creature like that shouldn't be able to exist. Alex, I know I am scaring you, but I am not having your feet to calm you down again.
exactly is on the west side of Creature Mountain? It's close to the public. But nobody really knows what's over there. I do. Trash. Lots of trash. Should I tell them? No. Humans can't be trusted. I can't be seen. We were told to stay away from the west side. Really? By who? The executive director of the Slime Corporation. Re received something to do with capturing carbon dioxide? Amazing! But can you really trust the corporation? Maybe we should investigate! I know the area best. I grew up in this park. I'll scout out what's happening on the west side. Great, we need to find out what's happening.
something spooky out here? Maybe. Ew, is that a slug? Oh my god! I love slugs! Aren't you so cute? You grab that. Thank you. 
really delicious. It's gooey, it's slimy, it's glowing. I need more. More! No! no! something to that thing. We, sh we should definitely help it, Alex. So you have a heart? Yes, it's here. It's beating right now. We will take this owl back to our hideouts. Oh, superpowers! We can make millions of jars of slime gone wrong. No, Alex. Dollars! We need to know what our slime did to that thing. Pick it up! Well, Faster, come on. Pick like it. you're always saying, Expectation is the root of all hurting. And we don't know what all the slime did to this poor owl. That's exactly why we need to find out. Now, take us away. <clears throat> Trapped under trash. 
We should have picked up our garbage. It was your garbage! Help! Calm down! Don't tell me what to do. We need to work together. Not yet. Rich has something to say to the humans. Uh, okay. You're trying to have a garbage our family. No way. Can't be. Not possible. Yeah, and your green glowing slime made Taylor strange. We don't have any green glowing slime. We do. Feel bad for you. Yeah, us too. We weren't really trying to hurt the environment. We were just playing around. We really love animals. Yeah. 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 That's it. I need him a green slime like Terry did and bringing us out of here. Well, help. Well, help. Greatness and others have greatness thrust upon them. We have made Terry great. Morgan, this poor owl has collapsed. We need to stop. Stop. Now, I've wasted my time, and now doth time wastes me. With a little more testing and some more animals eating the slime, 
They could have superpowers just like her, and we could have superpowers ourselves, Alex. Isn't that what you've always wanted? You will be benefiting the entire Earth, the entire humanity. I mean, when you put it that way,
you want to be a part of history? Absolutely! You have to work for it. Your first assignment, tell us exactly how you feel scientifically. Remember, answer with intelligence. Confidence. And, and sounds sound important. important. You have to help us understand the sun's facts. Uh-oh. It's not looking so good.
said they were, working for Sign Corporation. They wanted superpowers, and they tested me for mine. I'm so sorry I didn't get to you sooner. It's okay, we can help you. We'll look into the Sign Corporation workers. If they really are up to no good, we can catch them. Together! Can you lead us to their hideout? Yes, but first, I want to pick up some more animal friends along the way. <laughs>
It is also when they graduate, because after eighth grade, they head on to high school, maybe uh, come back as an assistant and help out backstage. Some of them are already assistants, student assistants, but I have to give my congratulations. I think Stephanie and Lorenzo, come on out. First of all, let's give them a big round of applause. So we have a, let me, why don't you hand me one at a time? I mean, let's see if we bring the mic stand up, please. That'll help. So, can I please have James Lucas to the Woo! 